and welcome to Geek Must Have, and this is a post bag. It is a single package coming from, uh, I love the address on this one, it's uh, Jayane Road, near the Hung Pao Exhibition Center. They gotta give directions by saying, yes, it's on this road, but it's near this big place. It's in uh, Guangdong, in Shangshang City, Guangdong. And on the package, it says it is a USB endoscope. And I'm pretty certain I know which one this is. It is meant to be part of my portable toolkit, my instruments case that I have, the instruments case that I have, to be able to uh, look at things close up. This one also came with a bunch of attachments to allow it to do, be a little more functional, including hooks and a couple of other things. If this is the one I'm thinking it is, if it isn't, then I'm completely off base. And it comes with infamous little driver disc. Only in this case, it's not a driver's disc. It's a uh, disc with a APK on it to be able to allow you to use this either on your cell phone or your Android tablet. They also have a, uh, a barcode that you can scan on their product page to be able to download the application. Instructions, ah, and the barcode has been reproduced here. This one comes with six LEDs that are adjustable. I made certain that when I got this one, it was a fairly long one. So if I was using the tablet as diagnostics instrument and using this to view things, I would be able to put the tablet a fair distance away from where I was using the endoscope itself. So here is the end of the endoscope with the LEDs on it. Six LEDs there and this is the remote control. There is the kind of the volume control if you want to call it that for the light to vary the brightness. Standard USB plug. Yep, standard USB plug. But then when you pull off the end, I think that's an OTG connector. Yeah, it looks like an OTG connector. So you can use it either on your cell phone or this little adapter here, hopefully on the PC. Also came with a little mirror device. I don't know if you can see that. So that you can plug the endoscope in there and then the mirror allows you to look up at a 90 degree angle. That's kind of neat. And then it also came with a couple other attachments including a magnet on a spring and a hook and something else. Those are the attachments to help you use it. Get the most amount of flexibility out of it by using those attachments. Uh, it says the camera head is waterproof. We might actually try that by dunking it in our favorite drink. Take a look around and see what a drink in the wild looks like. Let's try this thing on a cell phone and see what happens. So this is my Samsung S7. This is not the one that catches on fire. It says open USB. Oh, I already downloaded the software and installed it. It says uh, open USB camera 2 when a USB device is connected. It says used by default for this USB device. So I'm going to say yes. Click on OK. And something's happening. Ah! Well, there we go. It is indeed a camera. As you can see here, I'm going to grab a little switch that I have handy and take a look at the switch. So there is a standard toggle switch with a little insulated handle on it. And I am hand, I'm holding the endoscope by hand. It's actually not a bad image. This might actually come in handy. The uh, LEDs are turned almost all the way down. I'm going to turn them up. There we are. Now they're up all the way. And it does su surprisingly supply a lot of light. Almost too much in this particular case. But you can dial it back. Does it stay in focus as we get closer? Closer, 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 yeah, that's a little blurry. 
right about there seems to be the most amount of magnif magnification you can get without it being a little blurry. Let's uh, see if we can read the printing on what I believe to be a capacitor. That, that little tiny thing right there. You have to read it from the side because the light is a bit too much glare. So yeah, I actually can read that. It's 104K. I think it's a capacitor. I'm trying to read this from reading the camera from the monitor off of the uh, patch monitor. So I'm not doing a good job, but it is very legible. Actually is kind of neat. What else can we look at? The software you can download that is linked for this particular endoscope is actually not bad software. Uh, in the past I've tried to get a USB recording um, software and most of them come with some very nasty adware and some viruses and limited times and logos on them. This one's pretty simple. It has the ability of taking snapshots. Up here is a up here is the ability to do video take a video. Also change the portrait uh, and the ability to select from multiple different cameras. So you could have different type of camera devices hooked up to this or different type of camera devices defined and when you plug them in it will recognize it. Not a bad piece of software. There also appears to be a button at the top of this remote control. Well, the button presses, it doesn't seem to do anything, and I was hoping maybe it would take a picture. There's nothing really in the instructions to indicate what that little button might do. Uh, the resolution on this is what they call 1 9th VGA. I know that sounds pretty bad, but the resolution is it's good enough to be able to do some very practical things with it. How about some standard printing that's almost impossible to read? So, there's the address from Yang Yang Road near the Hung Hang Pao Exhibition Center actually does a pretty good job. It's not great, but I think this device was like $10 with the adjustable light on it. I will be very interested to see how this works with my uh, diagnostic tablet project that I'm working on, uh, which is basically is there a way to turn an inexpensive tablet into a diagnostics device so that you can use it as a poor man's set of instruments? I've been having some fun with that and this will be added to the kit. It'll end up in my instruments box. It is actually kind of fun. I actually enjoyed this particular package. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, maybe you learned something from it and uh, if you like this video, please click on the like. When you click on the likes, it helps my uh, ratings on YouTube. And uh, I have a companion blog site called geekmusthave.com where I post a lot of technological updates on things, uh, some ramblings and rants. Enjoy to go there and take a look. I have a favor to ask you. I would like you to give a geek a hand and subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. Now, take a little time off and dig deeper into those parts. Ooh, mysterious.